Okay, here we're going to discuss an article that just came out recently, April 20th of 2021. But it's about something I found out about about 30 years ago. And it had been found about 10 years prior to that. But no one knew about it except for a couple of people. This is a weird verifier type of video. Where it shows you that when the sea level is much lower, there were a lot of caves that could have been utilized by people and cave paintings and so on. In fact, here's a very important one. In fact, the only. Kosker Cave and its magnificent underwater Stone Age paintings created 27,000 years ago. And they had a later occupation, too. Kosker Cave is the world's only underwater Stone Age cave and a marvelous place where archaeologists have discovered mysterious paintings created to our long-gone ancestors. Located in the Chalinki, Morgo, and Marseille, France, the underwater Oscar Cave is home to 500 extraordinary paintings and engravings. The cave drawings were made during two epochs of occupation in part of this world, the first paintings were created at 27,000 years ago and would have been like Mangalinian or Orgnasian period and later at 19,000 years ago and would have been around the Salutrian period. Cave artists produced more beautiful drawings on the walls. So there was one period where they had drawings and then a later period. What is unique about this site is that it's opening to the cave is 120 foot below the ocean and whenever the solo diver found this this really would be quite an adventure I just have to ask you if uh, any of you would have felt like if you saw a cave like that behind you this guy on the left if you would have felt like hmm wonder what's in there but you have to go an incredible distance in there so he may have done it over a period of time, but you have to go an incredible distance in there and not get lost to end up finding the cave, uh, or the part that we're talking about. For indeed, it appears that the whole cave itself, all the way through, was all decorated in places, but we all lost that to the water coming up in the last ice age. But these were drawn during a time whenever the ocean was much deeper or much more shallow, if you will, lower. Hundreds of feet lower, leaving this cave entrance here hundreds of feet from sea level. And in fact, even though it's in the sea now, it would have been out to sea uh, or the sea from the cave entrance in the time that it was created would have been miles away to the south. Here you see this diver going in and really there's only been archaeologists pretty much go in at this point but the worry was originally from that original diver that people would all go and woo and start rubbing touching it and doing things and it would just ruin it all. And he kept it secret along with one archaeologist that he knew that apparently didn't dive until 1991, from, 1995, from 1985 when he found it to 1991. In 1991, three divers accidentally stumbled across the save cave, cave entrance. They probably didn't have that much air left and then going into the cave they became lost and disoriented and three people died and then it came out about it look at a few of the pictures here that are depicted on the right you can see these hand spits that are done where they put the dye in their mouth and spray while they put their hands against the wall probably real familiar with this and brother bear and all kinds of things but what's unique about this is that they have a few fingers missing or on the right right there especially is the world's first peace sign it's like let me put my hand in here and show you it's like they have their fingers done like such 
In fact, this one on the other side of the wall looks like they did the same thing. But it's using, it's taking the finger off from this side. The one in the middle looks like it has its uh, three fingers splayed out and then in the, the pinky way out to the left. What it would be opposite, like such, that you see here. Right? But there's hundreds of these. And there's a few anomalies. Here's such things as an ibex you see on the right, drawn with red ochre and the charcoal. And that's what they've done is taken flicks of the charcoal. And that's the way they know that, well, this dates to this date. And then all these other pictures here are from another date. So there was two different occupations, thousands of years apart, 27 and 19. So 8,000 years apart. There's a weird depiction on here, and people could probably come to fancy real quick and start thinking of plesiosaurs or something weird, and to me it almost looks like that Christmas turkey got up and started doing a dance. They actually say this are penguins, which gives another strangeness to it, but when you think of the last ice age and the height of the last ice age going on, coldness got up to a lot closer, but then penguins are usually thought of as being from Antarctica and stuff, right? Oh, there's a few other colonies around the world and everything, but at this time, these people were aware of penguins. Now, I don't know the lineage of penguins and the exactness of penguins, and if there were penguins around somehow around France at this time in the last Ice Age, but here a depiction of a couple of them on the wall. And they have over 150 depictions that are like this and 500 separate engravings. And that's just what's above the surface that's now. The strange oddity that's here is that that guy coming in the cave, let me go back up here, that guy coming in the cave at over 120 foot down in the water, out there in the water, comes back up under you, and he's slowly going uphill, zigzagging and such, and there's little offshoots, but they run into dead ends, oh no and slowly go up higher and higher and then you get to go up into a flattened plateau area and in that plateau area the top part of which is a bell dome and in that bell dome area with rims around the edge and stuff there are all these paintings that are seen here it's quite a big size grotto but the neat thing is is that it comes back up to surface level and above i.e. the water out there in the bay is the same depth that it is under you, under this hill that's out here on dry land. And down 100 feet or so down in that is a bubble, and in that bubble is this ancient thing that's kept like a treasure, and the sea level hasn't risen enough to wipe away all of it. But you can imagine the amount that was lost in its covering up and a lot of it could be up under silt and things, but if you just take a paintbrush lightly to this and try to get it a little cleaned off, you lose half of the carbonaceous type stuff that they use and charcoal type things that they with, and, and because that's all it's painted with is like a tempura type paint. So you can't do anything to the walls of the submerged part or even above. Exploring the cave is not easy because there's only one entrance through a narrow underwater tunnel located 40 meters under sea level or around 120 foot. The Kosher cave art was preserved because the chamber happened to be high up enough not to have been flooded, but large numbers of paintings and engravings were probably destroyed in the passage and in the lower part of the chamber whenever the last ice age ended and the water came up and rose and rose and it's pretty much stopped now but there's fear mongering that you have from people but let's not get into that but this does verify the depth of the ice age and that there were people that were all along the coastline so you know whenever i study salt water and things like that there's all this thing of talk about a continental shelf and this is where the end of that continent falls off into deep water. And the reason we paid attention to it is because there were fish that would be up on the continental shelf and closer and then refish in shallow waters. But there are deep water type fish and things like that. And especially in the hobbies that I was in, you really don't mess with too much of the other things. They have to be refished and so on. 
irregardless, that continental shelf that's way out there, some places like uh, in the Carolinas and stuff, is more than 60 miles out to sea that people still clam bed and everything onto, and then it falls off. In an ancient time, was dry land. In fact, they've found with sonar and such that river that ends right there into the water now that's here whenever the water was down that low that was just a little rapidsy thing it keeps going and there's a trench which would have been the river of ancient times going that 60 miles all the way out there and then there's a delta but it's underwater and has no purpose at this point anymore and that those places and in between would be where you would find the most artifacts and so to find something now in a modern day in the higher places whenever these people would have been new to America, if they were coming across and so on with the Salutrians and even in France and on this, you, they find, find it a rare find because being a coastal type of people and waterborne, that wasn't really the concentration of where they lived, so you're lucky to find them. The cave was av accidentally discovered in 1985 by professor scuba di professional scuba diver named Henri Cosker, Henry Cosker, but in French. Cosker quickly understood that he found something extraordinary and kept his secret discovery for some years. Fearing the unique ancient underwater cave paintings would be destroyed, he only told archaeologist Jean Clot about his discovery. The two men kept knowledge of the Cosker cave secret for six years. Later, when the French government learned about this important archaeological and historical place, they revealed the information to the public. And uh, they don't mention it here, but it's whenever the three divers had passed away and got lost in the cave. And then they found, by, by searching the cave farther, that it contained all these things. And when it came out, these people already had known of it. But it's the only underwater Stone Age cave that can show you this type of thing. And it might be special because, well, I'll show you in a minute, whenever I show you a side view of what they give as a depiction, which I still feel is quite inaccurate or inadequate, but gives you an idea of the situation. And the only reason that it's really saved. The Rock Art and Coster Cave provide scientists with knowledge about how European Stone Age people perceive their surroundings. Some new newspapers question the authenticity of the paintings and engravings found in the Coster's cave. Still, scientists were later able to confirm these were the original drawings made by Stone Age people, and then they carbon dated little flicks of it off of the carbon that's on the wall and were able to detect it. Being the only underwater Stone Age cave known to date, Coster Cave offers a unique glimpse into the past, and here they are actually in the cave, and the bottom part of that is water. He's standing waist deep in water and they're shining flashlights onto the spots that are here but whenever they do the flash with a camera that took over it almost looks like donkeys or especially the one on the left but this is the ancient horses in fact a lot of the depictions here are dominated by horses that were over in this area long before they got pretty much wiped out and only over in the far eastern part and then that sweltered and came back which we've talked about in Proto-Europeans and so on and then making it back into the New World for there were horses also in the New World before the end of the last Ice Age so red ochre charcoal paintings and so on and yeah it looks real rusty in the background but that's none of that that's rust leaching through the ground soil but where he's at right here it's kind of weird to think of but if he was 180 well if he was a couple of football fields let's just say back south of there standing in the same water he would be out in the ocean above this cave floating at the surface that's the height at where he is and then the only part that's saved is what is still above the ocean from out there and there's slight tidal formations probably that happen into here nowhere near as bad as going to be out there on the coast and so on but it's 
help to wash away the bottom parts of some of these pictures as you see it here. The prehistoric Cosker Cave is today protected area only to researchers. Nevertheless, it's naturally possible to learn what kind of paintings and engraving scientists have discovered in this submerged Stone Age realm. At least half the paintings are covered with patches of bright white calcite. We'll show you a picture of that in a moment. A type of which, according to geologists, takes a very long time in depositing. Well, that's something that happens extremely slow, and it depends on the amount of water flow and other situations. There are numerous paintings of different animals, as well as engravings of hand on the wall. And other than engravings of hands on the wall, like we saw just a minute ago, there are spit forms of the hands on the wall that we're all familiar with that have been shown in the Americas and over in European lands. But the oddity was we might have seen the very first peace sign are recorded, our earliest recorded. I wouldn't say the very first. In 1992, scientists were aware of 44 animals, 21 engraved and 23 painted, and 26 negative hands, most of them with incomplete fingers. They've been found. Horses are dominant in 14 places, followed by bisons and ibex in equal numbers of seven, then by chamois or would-be sheep and so on, of five of those, and there are also one red deer, one feline, three penguins, as you saw two of them right there, two seals, and two possible megaceros, which are the giant deer that actually is bigger than even our American elk that we have nowadays with its huge rack that we've talked about, and it being in ancient folklore mythology, as well as two intermediate quadrupeds. So, this would be something like a deer or some type of thing or something, but intermediate quadrupeds wonder, you know, if this is might be dogs, might be this, might be that, or it's real questionable. Many signs of men in which have long barbed lines superimposed on various animals were observed. In addition, the walls of the chambers are covered with innumerable fine engravings and finger tracings that have not so far been studied. The present count of animals' hand signs is therefore highly provisional. The superimpositions over each other point to two possible periods, the earlier with the negative hands and the finger tracings, and the later with the painted and engraved animals and the fine engravings, perhaps. So, they're telling you that they haven't been studied in depth because you have to get a diver certified and everything going down to be able to go down to this depth. While you'd only, you're only for a while at breaking 100 foot, or really 90 is the, is the mean there, you have to decompress and so coming back out. And of course, this is not something that you would take somebody that's a brand new diver up into a cave system or something like that to try to do. It would be odd. And you'll find that a lot of these archaeologists that are deep into this are elder people. And sometimes you might have somebody that could have dived in younger ages and so on. So you have to get people that can dive and things and go on through there but also they want to limit the amount of people that go into there and so it becomes a finite type thing and it takes years of research to go into and of course it's all controlled by the government and you get so much red tape into it that you can't pull off correct studies in a real short amount of time irregardless can Coster Caves prehistoric rock art be saved Well, right before this, it tells you that they have found over 500 depictions on the wall. Paintings and engravings all in together. So there are scratched in engravings, all in pictures on the wall, and then some paintings over that, but other ones don't overlap and so on. The majority of the painted pictures seem to be from the latter period of 19,000 BC, but it has stuff from 27,000 BC. Scientists think that it may take years before the importance of this discovery is obvious. The cave is located in a region where no Paleolithic rock art had ever been found before. 
According to experts, the paintings found in the Costa Cave exhibits various characteristics that may bear witness to outside influences. One such place could be the Laco Caves, which we've talked about a few times on this channel. World renowned for their Magdalenian paintings. Here we see a snapshot done back into another area of the cave that's from there. And there are some depictions that are on the wall here, 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 here. And pretty much anywhere at height that, that people could crawl up into and live in this cave. But there's a depth to this thing that people would have been crawling up on a legend. When this was all empty, this would have been quite a feat to come all the way back here in the cave. A special place. It wasn't something that was a brisk walk. We'll look at that again here shortly. But also, whenever you look up at the top here, you can see this spider webby hanging looking type of material. And this is that white calcite they're talking about and its slow growth over time that it would have. And what it does is over time in leaching that goes through there, in places that water leaches through especially, you'll have stalactites and stalagmites form that are off of this. And really, this is just the later form of this. In fact, this here is the later form of that. And then these would become specialized and engrouped in and become large stalagmites like this, this, and these other pieces here, and this one over at the edge, and so on. And you can see that water level out here, and I'd like to describe again for you that the fact that through the rock, a couple of hundred feet away out there, is the ocean at the exact same height as this, but it's doing the little wavy thing, and here it's not. Yeah, but this is up on solid ground back in the other part of it. First at hearing about this, I thought it was a trapped bubble. But it's not. It's good air and it breathes. Maybe there was an ancient connection between the Lakove and the Koskar cave paintings even. But each of the caves features its own unique rock art. Well, they're going to have some unique rock art part of it in the same thing. If it would be kind of a unique thing if you were to find doubles and depictions, not of just symbols like I've shown in other videos where you find this symbol here and here, and these people are doing this thing with their hand here and here and here and there. Oh, they want to show these certain animals, and most of the time they're facing left, and they're showing them in profile, and here and here and here and here. It's not just that, but other symbols and things like that that can make connections. And you say, well, is it the same people? Well, it's not the exact same person probably but it, yeah it's the same people spread out over time too just like you would have something today and symbols that people would use and smiley faces and crap it'd be hilarious if we found a smiley face though in a cave or something but Costa cave rock art has withstood the test of time but experts warn the paintings and engravings may soon be destroyed due to climate change we do not know if this will happen anytime soon and there's no need to panic after all, the Cosker Caves rock art has survived for 27,000 years, but the future is uncertain. Or at least they sure want to make you think so. But it would take all of the ice on the world to go away to do the bad thing they're talking about, where we would start losing our coastal cities. In fact, much, many decades ago, they started talking about this, and next thing you know, somebody mouthed off and they figured out, well... Uh, the sea ice is melting, and if it just multiplied times a certain amount, then oh my gosh. And that never happened 20-something years ago. And then 12 years from now, it's all gonna, 20 years ago. And then another 10 years ago, and they said it again. But here we are, rolled past it again. So they got somebody to say that same time again. It goes on here. But oh man, I'll be danged if we didn't have a good winter this year. And... A couple of years ago, the satellite showed that the ice pack formed all the way through again, which they said it'd be all gone and everything's going to, well, it all connected again. And, and it's going to do this melting type thing. And really, it looks like a lot of that is uh, data is taken from the early last ice age, the mini ice ages that you'd say that happened around Napoleon's time. And of course, that reinvigorated it and it melted away. And we watched the end of that and went, oh, no, this is pretty rapid. Now we realize that it's not, and people are still pulling on this, oh my gosh, it's rapid type situation. But make no bones about it, too. The last time this happened, it happened, too. 
But also, we're due about now to go into an ice age again, and they're so busy talking about this crap that they can't pay attention to the pulse and time that it's been showing. So let's look at something else here. Let's look at the, uh, the wiki that's on it, because it just got updated January. In fact, I believe that, and the fact that they're trying to build a replica on the thing is going to be the reason that this was shown here. Because it's, you know, pulling off something 30 years old, but in that, they're able to show some things. Okay. Oh, well, that's blonde haired Egyptians. Let's. Let's look at this over here. sit there and delayed after I typed it in <laughs> then it was going to go you meant this word no I did not oh wow it still spelled it huh. well, I wonder why it reverts when there is a version of that same pictures so here's Coscure Cave and they're showing you all of those and here's where it is off of that and so if I just zoom in a little bit here off of it, it's out in this bay that's right here, and you can see these cleaved off cliffs that are all sharp and sheer that are all around it. But this would have been 400, 500 foot up in the air. Not, not too, too long ago. And this little lookout, it looks like you can drive cars onto and take a look here. That's probably a kick-ass overlook that's here. You can kind of see a little bubble dome that's here and how maybe all this rock had all gone away. But whenever you're underground and under this cave right here, you're actually probably right up in here at the level of this water. Yeah. So there's all kinds of pictures where it shows you the hands and the deer and it starts to get confusing, but then one of the cool things here and the questionable things is penguins, but let's go back to all and look at the wiki article onto it because that's where I can show you the depth of it. So when we look at this picture that's here, boing, what we have going on is a cave entrance that's 120 foot below but as it meanders and goes back and forth and through all here and a few pinching points like here it goes uphill back up to where it's only 14 meters or 35 foot below the water whenever you come out into this grotto here and this grotto would have had all kinds of art that's around on it but the water level is the same as out here. And so all the pictures that we have left are the little bit that's up here on little terraces that they were able to get up onto. So there would have probably been more art down than up that's lost. But we've still got this. So another way of looking at this too is, and you can still see it here in the corner of it here, while that's 120 foot below that's right there the water level at the time of this happening would have been about here actually probably about here going across and so this would have been well up and this cave would have been well opened and never experiencing water during the time that it was here that cave can be accessed through divers through 175 meter or 574 foot long tunnels. So this tunnel right here 
is like two football fields. Right? And where it's located at is right here where I'm pointing at now. But the shoreline would have been out here at the time we're talking about much farther out to sea and so whenever they did this they didn't build it right on the ocean even doubtful they even have really have an ocean look except for maybe in a far distant look at it it wouldn't be too far away to go to though back and forth right close to it got to be a couple of rivers near here that come out too but place they had chosen to live so there's older art consisting of 65 hand stencils and other motifs dating to 27,000 years BP that's the Gravetten area as they're calling it and then new art designs 175 177 animals dating to 19,000 years BP and that's in that Salutrine area representing both classic animals like bison ibex and a lot of horses also marine animals such as ox and a man with a seal's head. And now we have that auk, and that makes more sense. And auk was a type of penguin creature, and it was around in the last ice age until the end of everything, and it went away. And it's the reason we only have them in the south, but it wasn't a penguin, it was an auk. In fact, I have a video where it talked about them living off of them whenever people were going back and forth in the Wayback Machine like 27,000 years ago that there were people in the Americas because of other findings they had had and what would they live on? Well they live on seals and this that and the other and there was a great co uh, population of the great auk that lived there and it's a bigger flightless bird is swimming bird same type of thing which you would know of as a penguin the great auk on cave art and there it is and you look at it and you go you know that's that's a penguin yeah so neat and interesting find but this is another thing that shows you that people were living up in caves and doing this specialized art stuff that they find in Lacoste and other places but if the ocean were to be drained down 400 foot and then people were to go around and find caves. There might be a lot more things that are found into them, but the ones that are submerged and don't go back up like this and either get a trapped air bubble in them or break the surface of the ocean like this did are probably long gone and you'd never know about it. It doesn't take long for rocks sitting around the ocean to get silt on them and start layering up and all kinds of things happen to it. And there's no way to wipe that off again, like I said, with a paintbrush and get it back. So, Kosker Cave. Pretty cool. Something from 1991. I believe it says in here, yeah, it wasn't made public till 1991. That's when we found out about 1991, 1992. That this, these people, three divers, got lost in the cave and died. But Henry Kosker had already known about it before. It's not telling you the other... Um, archaeologist in here that knew about it and everything that's in the other part of the article but together that formed a pretty decent one so other than the other cave depiction art that I've shown here's one that's quite unique and special in its own right like share and subscribe and enjoy and we'll get on to another related or semi-related topic peace